Hello, uh, at the Jungbehels Flyg Club now. Uh, the paragliding experience was really nice. Uh, I'm happy I tried it, but I understand that it, to be good at it, you have to do it a lot. You have to take a course and fly, I don't know, maybe 10 flights uh, with, the, with the instructor, then uh, do many, many flights alone, uh, solo, to be good at it and to make it safe. And well, I realized that I might not have the time for it, but uh, you know, all the experience I have from flying big planes and small planes and military planes, I can use that much more when flying planes like, like this, uh, the Cherokee, the Saab Safir, uh, even gliders, because I've done that so much. I only have a little bit of experience to bring over to paragliding. So I will probably not uh, do any more paragliding. Anyway, I, it was an enormous, intensive, beautiful experience to do it. Now I will uh, take the flight with the, with the diamond uh, today, because you need uh, three landings every 90 days, so you can take passengers. And I came here to UBH's free club today, and I didn't expect anybody to be here, but I was so lucky that one guy was flying uh, sh a short flight before me, so the plane was already out. And uh, as you see, it's beautiful weather, it's only some some light, very thin snow rime on the on the surface here, and well, it's it's a beautiful day for flying. Winter, it's a bit cold, but very very nice. And the pilot flying before me, he's he's about to take off now. You see the wind windsock is hanging straight down. It's absolutely beautiful. The forecast said that it should be cloudy today, but it's, the sun is shining and it's absolutely wonderful. Tower is closed because they have a Christmas off. And uh, this means you don't have to talk to anybody. You're just saying what you do and, yeah, and fly. Super simple. And <laughs> that's like what I like. Two parallel runways here at Jungby here, 11 and 29 is the directions. And here the, my uh, friend at the club, he's warming up the engine. So it's nice and warm when I take it. I go a bit forward to the runway to, sh to see his takeoff. To check Here's the takeoff roll. There was a cloud of smoke of white uh, snow. Super nice, and the visibility today is uh, maybe 100 kilometers, so <laughs> couldn't be a better day for flying. Yeah, you know I love flying. I can't be on ground. That's simply impossible. Yeah, braking action is not a problem for <laughs> planes landing with 60 knots, <laughs> like the big, big planes. And you, <laughs> you might need some calculations, <laughs> but this is... Just super simple. Nice plane. Now it's my turn. Okay. Here's the diamond plane. I like it a lot because you have plenty of visibility out of this uh, canopy. And you check always that the keys are here and uh, so the magnetos are, are off and uh, there will be no accident. And this plane is maneuvered with this stick and absolutely very nice, delicious in the controls. And now it's has got some covers on the on the wheel, which is good. It reduces drag, reduces the drag. And it has winglets too. Uh, when you move the stick to the left, like this, the uh, aileron is coming up, reducing the lift on the left wing, and the plane banks to the left. If you move the stick to the right, the aileron goes down and you get more lift on the left side and opposite on the other side. So that's how you bank the plane. But you also need control in, in the pitch. And you do, the, you do it by the elevator. If you, if you push the stick forward, 
you want to go down with the nose and then the elevator is coming down. There's always a negative uh, force on the stabilizer. And if you do the opposite, if you take the stick aft, you want to go up with the nose and then the elevator is coming up like this, which means that you get more downforce here aft which makes the nose go up on the plane. That's how you maneuver. But that's not all, because you need a rudder to making, giving control of the plane sideways. If you press the right rudder pedal, the rudder goes to the right and the nose turns to the right. And if you do it left, the nose, you have a force sideways in the right direction and the nose goes to the left. That's how you control it. We'll see it when we come up in the air. Now I go through the plane and check all the couplings, connectors, that they are okay. And the locking wires and all this, that everything looks good and no damage on the plane. I'm happy that they uh, installed the covers on the, on the wheels. Ten, around 10, 10 knots, better speed. And you're check, checking for no damage anywhere on the plane. Fuel was okay. You should always check it that the, the fuel is corresponding to the to the indicator, so you don't have a surprise. And then you have to check the oil oil level here. But the previous guy he flew and he checked it, of course. But I still check the oil level. It's six quarts. That's perfect. So ne no need to do anything. Just to take the seat and I, you have to be careful to lock this so it doesn't open because then it can fly away and then get disconnected from the plane and you look for oil leaks you don't I don't see anything here looks fine this propeller is very nice it it has a variable pitch which means that the blades the angle of the blades can vary according to the speed and it you adjust the rpm on the on the engine with the pitch it's just just like a gearbox on a car, low gear for starting, takeoff I mean, and landing, and high pitch, high gear for cruising. And you maneuver this one by a lever in the cockpit. Beautiful, and yeah, of course, makes it makes it much more efficient. Okay, let's take the seat. Okay, now we have all the GoPros installed. I have one 360. GoPro Max in the roof and go one Hero 3 Plus here because it records the, the audio and the old one does it and I have one, one Hero 8 in my hand. Oh, that one fall, fell down. Okay, <laughs> reattack. Okay, so we are more like ready to go and I have the checklist here and I'm reading it. Pre-flight inspection and documents, yes, pedals and seat belts, just fine. Uh, canopy and rear door closed and latched, yes, brakes, parking brake, lock, like that, yes. Circuit breakers, yes. Avionics is off, everything is off here, yeah. RPM lever, high RPM, fuel selector on. It's the fuel selector, take the right one now, mixture, idle, cut off, master switch battery, there you have it. Alarms, reset, ignition key inserted, strobe light on, fuel pump on, cold engine, no, it's warm, warm engine. Throttle one centimeters open, uh, mixture idle, have it, propeller area clear, engine starter engage. So we start it, and when it fires up, I should put the mixture lever in reach and adjust the RPM to 1200. Okay, let's go. After starting, master out on, fuel pump. Off. Check fuel pressure. Yes, we have it. And meter. Yeah, we have it. Yes. Avionics on. Radio. Record. 
recording and I hope the sound will work this time. I had problems last time, but anyway, we'll see. Okay. That was nice, hope you enjoyed it and Merry Christmas! <laughs>